Hello, this is Freddy King 79 with a Transformers review. It has been a while since I've been on here. The reason being is my camcorder decided to die. <laughs> so I'm recording this on uh, just a normal digicam. So yeah, hopefully it'll turn out okay, but uh, we, we shall see. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm recording this today on the 12th of uh, August, which is the day before AA. Um, so I thought, you know, it's day before AA, let's get a couple of reviews out and get me in the mood. I'm going up tomorrow, I can't wait, it's going to be awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, this, as you can see, is Generation 1 Trigger Happy, one of the first wave of Target Master Transformers, um, a Decepticon, obviously. Um, Tree Happy and his Neverland companion, Blowpipe. Blowpipe here. Okay. Nice little, nice little figure there. Um, if I move both up to the side for a moment, have a look at Trigger Happy. Um, in my humble opinion, probably the best Decepticon target master. As you can see, he's a very cool uh, alt mode. Just look at the size of those guns. <laughs> no messing with him. Um, he is a very nice figure, so definitely one to, to pick up if you can. Um, obviously, along with Slug Slinger and Misfire, but he's a he's a nice figure. Now, I think about this particular example that I've got here um, is there are a couple of things you need to bear in mind with Trigger Happy. I shall show you those in a moment. Things that if you kind of pick up one of these loose, to bear in mind. Um, so I'll show you those in a moment. But before I do, we should just quickly look at Blowpipe. Um, his transformation. Just pop the camera down um, with me. Okay, so here's Blowpipe. Um, there's the Septicon uh, Target Masters had a transformation where the backpack would come off like so, um, and then you would just basically flip the legs up like that and then slot the backpack into the front here to become a gun. Um, it's a cool uh, a cool design feature um, the gun looks better I think than just the fold over transfer uh, target masters um, but bear in mind obviously that you can lose this quite easily so make sure that this is with this guy when you pick him up. Okay um, so that's both open in gun mode and that trigger happy himself. Well, things I told you to watch out for. Um, if you can see on on these guns here that fold down, there's a pin just there, a clip. See that? Make sure that is intact. As with this one, it's not, um, which means they don't stay in place quite so well um, without it. So just bear in mind that. But we'll transform him quickly. Um, it's very very cool little transformation. Just fold the wings back down like that, bring the uh, guns up, okay, now they should clip into place nicely, these are very very loose, so bear in mind as well when you're picking up a figure, make sure that they're, they're not too loose, and if they are, make sure it's priced accordingly, obviously still transforming okay, but uh, just bear that in mind, okay, here's the uh, cockpit, that just comes up like so, like that, okay, and his head, is on a little spring at the back, just push it forward and then up he pops, like so, reading his head. Um, right on the back, I don't know if you can see, there's a little raised bit there. Make sure that's intact, otherwise the head won't stay in place, which is uh, obviously no good to anyone, so make sure that's intact. Okay, and then the legs come round, like so. Okay, pop his feet out. He's got uh, back supports on his feet as well to keep him standing up in robot mode. And pop open like that. Okay. And then the arms just pop up like that. And the hands pop out like so. Okay, and there he is. Now, you will see, 
as I say, that's very loose. You need a clip. This one isn't so, it's quite so bad. It stays in place some of the time, but uh, you know, something to bear in mind for robot mode. Unfortunately, I have to resort to tacking him in place or having his arms like that if I'm displaying him, uh, which doesn't look as good, obviously. Uh, but he's a cool, he's a very cool robot mode. And obviously the head's different to how he was in the cartoon. He only appeared in the rebirth. Um, but, you know, he was an awesome character in that. Just a complete, uh, well, as his name suggests, trigger, trigger happy maniac. He was he was quality. But the head's different. He's got a mouth and face. Mouth and face? Nose and mouth. Have a look. That's a bit blurry, but, yeah, nose and mouth. That he didn't have as the um, the cartoon character had sort of the Optimus Prime grill. But anyway, let's blow pipe. Blow pipe fits in his hand like so. Um, you know, you had a cool little um, play feature in that you can have his guns out on robot mode as well. So you can t you can proper tool him up if you want to, which is which is nice. But uh, yeah, he is a um, in my. And as I say, he is the best, uh, the best looking of the Decepticon Target Masters, um, and definitely worth picking up. Um, price wise, I always like to give you a price indication if I can. An example like this, this was only about two or three pound because of the problems with the guns. Um, Blade Pipe was a region of fifteen pound. That's about average for for a Target Master gun. Um, together, these guys, you could be looking to pay. I'd say a region of 30, good, 30 quid for a good example, certainly don't pay any more than that. Um, but yeah, if you can pick this guy up, and then, then as, I, as I always say in most of my reviews, then it's definitely worth picking up. But just be careful. Um, if you're you know, being asked to pay a good price for this guy, make sure that these minor not defects are, are not an issue for you, otherwise uh, he's not really worth the, uh, the money. All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, I shall see some of you at AA, no doubt. Uh, this is Predaking79, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.